So mm -hmm. talk, tell me about American and Princess. I created American Princess inspired by my story. Um, and then the American Princess is played by Georgia Flood, who's sitting right here. So um, it's a story that, that sort of is inspired by true life events about running away to the Renaissance Festival. And then we found the best actress possible to play said princess running away to the Renaissance Festival. Mm -hmm. And what happens when you get there? <laughs> well, um, <laughs> she accidentally stumbles upon the Renaissance Festival drunk and then proceeds to get drunker thinking it's a themed wedding and then never leaves because it's just so good. She initially stays to try and get everything together, to try and, and find a place so that she can put her life back together and ultimately get swallowed up by the, the kindness and the community that she finds there. Yeah, I think a lot of people go to Renaissance fairs to get their lives together. So it's a real sort of relatable <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah, it's like law school. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, and there's like a lot of drinking that happens. <laughs> so it sort of makes sense, the, some of the decision making. A lot of people go to Renaissance festivals to drink, to have fun, to I did. see shows. I did. Yeah. He has actually been to the Renaissance I got super lit at the Renaissance fair. Right? Renaissance yeah, festival. oh man. But the people, mead? people go for the joy and the fun, and if they are Amanda, our lead character, they stay because it's actually a place where she can really find herself. Yeah, there's a lot of Well, she got a there. job there. She joined the fair. Just like, you know, this, the typical story of running away and joining the circus yeah. kind of thing. And this so she the works circus. there, and that becomes mm -hmm. her livelihood. Were you teaching archery? What were you doing? <laughs> yeah, I, I started off doing many different jobs, that like Amanda did. And um, then she found one that really stuck, which was being a, a bar beer wench. Pub wench. Pub wench, mm -hmm. sorry. Pub, pub wench. Yeah, and I'm a, I'm a mud beggar, He's and then beggar. my nipple explodes. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> there's a lot. There's, there's a very a hard lot. to explain the entire series yeah. mm -hmm. right here, right now. You probably just have to no, watch it. No, I think it. we nailed it. No, we did. <laughs> That's it. Exploding nipples, yeah. pub wenching, but there's just a lot that goes on at the Renaissance Festival. Yeah. It's a party for everyone. How many episodes are in your series? Ten. We do ten episodes. Mm -hmm. One hour? They are one hour. Ten, one hour. It's a romantic comedy. It is a dramedy. There is... Romance and self discovery and yeah. comedy. A yeah, lot of comedy. Well, Hence from, the nipple explosion. It's from Genji Cohen, so like she's great at blending that sort of like that melange of drama and comedy yeah. and crazy universe meets a plucky a plucky young thing. And, it's uh, funny you know, though, like, it's another for, one of those great shows. From like my perspective, because we lived it and my character was going through such dramas, I'm like, it's a, it's a drama. You know what I mean? My life is changing yeah. and ending and all of these things are happening and you know, obviously that makes for really good comedy, so. When, when my nipple exploded, yeah. it felt very dramatic. Oh. And were there life lessons in there? Definitely. There are definitely life lessons in American Well, one of our process. episodes is called Family Matters. And I think it pretty much sums it up exactly right. Mm. Because the Renaissance Fair is like a big family. Mm. And everybody, it really is like a sense of community mm. and coming together. No matter who you are, where you're from, there's sort of a home and a community there for you. And I think our show is so much about non-judgmental acceptance and community while having a great time, like with uh, washer wenches. Yep. There's so like it's like drink a ton of mead and then learn to love Shakespeare learn to love and yourself Queen and you know it's it's a really unique community that I feel really lucky to have been a part of in real life and it's a story I've wanted to tell for many years because I wanted to show the world uh, a community that still exists and still works and still supports each other and still has a lot of fun together and creates a family from people that they're not necessarily related to. Yeah, watch the show and then go to a Renaissance Fair. Yes. Yes. They're both going to be awesome. Yes. Yeah. Want more extra? Hit the subscribe button and the bell and never miss a video.